99, 100. Hey, I'm Richard Dubois, horror author. Thanks for joining me today. And as a horror author, I love all things horror. And I wanted to talk to you about a recent horror movie that I saw called Antlers. It came and went in uh, 2021. So a lot of people didn't even hear about it. And it's awesome, very spooky. I will tell you a little bit about it. It takes place in the Pacific Northwest and it explores um, Native American mythology. Very, very creepy monster, extremely unsettling. There's a couple things I really liked about it. Number one, no teeny boppers. It was an adult horror movie made for adults. It did not rely heavily on jump scares. It was more just like an ominous, spooky feeling of impending doom. Uh, characters and the acting was phenomenal, shot beautifully. They also did an expert job at only revealing little pieces of the monster. Uh, they never just laid it all out there with really lame CGI. This was so well done. Uh, another thing that I really liked about it, and I mentioned this in a previous video, is the exploration of class. I know the publishing industry is really into um, different demographics based on your gender or your orientation, your color, and all of those things matter. And I'm not, uh, discounting their importance. But class is something that I don't see represented in fiction and I don't see enough of it in horror movies. A lot of these horror movies, you'll see these teens, they're not really teens, they're 25 years old, but they're supposed to be teens and they live in these giant McMansions. And one of the things that I loved about the movie Antlers is how it takes place in relatively downscale homes in a community that's been abandoned by our, um, our neoliberal policies of shipping jobs overseas. And you see these emptied out husks of communities that get left behind. And that also just lends to the feeling of the creepy, eerie feeling because, I mean, nothing is more horrifying than the feeling of constant poverty breathing down the back of your neck. And that's something that Antlers makes expert use of. The child actor, phenomenal job. Knocked it out of the park. All of the actors were really great. Um, there was a part in the movie, I should let you know, where I watched it by myself with all the lights off because really, that's the best way to watch a horror movie. And I jumped so hard, I was actually, I actually hurt myself. I think I pulled something in my neck. I, it was like such a violent spasm that uh, it, it caught me off guard, but I really can't recommend Antlers enough. It's one of those blink and you missed it horror movies, but it deserves to be right up there in the pantheon of modern great horror movies like Hereditary, uh, Get Out, The Witch. It ranks right up there with them, so I can't recommend it enough. And you guys should check it out this weekend. If you're wondering where I saw it, I saw it on HBO, so hopefully you have access to that. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. Check out my recommendation. I look forward to your feedback. As always, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. Take care, everybody. I'm gonna back and do another set of 100, uh, 100 bench presses because, you know, I gotta be more spectacular. Bye, everybody.